Welcome to Let's Game Talk. Today we are unboxing the CyberPower PC. It came with the AMD Ryzen 7 3700X CPU, the AMD RX 5700 XT GPU, and it also included a 1TB SSD Swordfish and 16GB of Crucial RAM. Let's take a look inside this Cyber PC and give you a quick tour of my gaming slash studio setup. Next, I'm going to show you some gameplay, benchmarks, and give you some quick tips to get you up and running fast. It definitely helped for me. Tip number one and story number one apply. When I received my PC, boxed everything, plugged it up, fire away, nothing came on correct. For me, being a person familiar with PCs, I knew to start with the components inside the computer that could have came loose when it was shipped. I first to check to see if the GPU was seated properly and if the RAM was seated properly. The problem was simply the RAM not being properly seated, which can happen with ship, shipping. It can happen back at the, the warehouse, whatever the case may be. All it took was for me to seat the RAM properly, and voila, I was up and running. A special note, please always touch your metal computer case when touching thing with inside a computer. Static electricity is enough to fry everything and anything inside there. So take that special note. Here's my benchmarks taken not too long ago. You can download this test yourself from user benchmark. Hit the test my PC button and you'll get your own results. Listen, there's many software programs like this. Different opinions on which one to use, but whatever one you feel like you want to use, just use it. If not, follow along with me and you'll be fine. As you can see, my scores are great. Some people would say, well, how do I get a little bit more out of my CPU? We'll go over that. How do I get a little bit more out of my GPU? We'll go over that. Although this is not for everybody and people that have never touched overclocking anything, I'd recommend not to do it. And overall, I really just don't recommend to anybody to do it. But for the people that are like me, that like to push, push the limit and know that it's not going to hurt my motherboard and everything's going to be fine and I have proper fanning and everything else, then follow along with me also. So first, let's get our RAM up to speed. We're going to go into the BIOS and we're going to make some changes. You can do that if you have the same exact PC that I have or you have will be coming to you getting shipped. Hitting the restart and then repeatedly pressing the delete key until you're into the BIOS setting. I'll meet you over there. So here we are inside the BIOS. So while I have you guys trapped inside this dark and hot place, please hit the subscribe button and like this video, please. Anyways, all right, this process is really simple. So we're going to go to advanced mode. Go to the AI tweaker. Now your computer is going to come with this on auto. I'm not going to click it. I'm just showing you. All you're going to do is go down to what I have it, the DOCP. And then this is going to come up also. And that's it. So we're going to get out of here. Hit the exit. Save changes and reset. And hit OK and go back into the computer. And then I'll meet you guys there also. Right now, I'm in the Radeon software, which you have to download from Ryzen. It's the drivers for the GPU. And to be quite honest, it's the first thing you should do once you have successfully downloaded Windows and it has fully updated to the most recent version. Then there's this, and then updating your RAM in the BIOS. But we're not here for my failures. 
to mention. That's why I'm saying this now. <laughs> Anyways, there's a ton of great features packed within their software. Let's scroll around and give you a quick little tour. So right on their home page, you can see what version of your current drivers, if it's up to date. There's also a couple of different options, whether it's optimal or if it's Windows recommended. You will see that once you download the software. But today and right now, we're just gonna focus on one little quick twe tweak that you can do yourself. That's in the performance tab. You go to tuning, it's the GPU overclock. And it's just simple, it's safe. Now you can set it in two different ways. And I think that everybody needs to understand this. You can set it like the global tuning, which is when you're not out, when, when you're not inside your game, or, and in my case, I can hit Call of Duty and it's GPU overclock. Now, usually I don't have this on global uh, tuning, but I did it for the user benchmarks. I put it on because otherwise I wouldn't have gotten the same benchmarks because I only use it in game. So all I did was hit GPU overclock and that's it. Reset my computer. Um, I try to reset my computer all the time, but literally with inside the software, it will let you know when you need to reset your computer for anything that you do. But other than that, I can make a separate video as far as my exact settings for gameplay and what I recommend and how you will have the least amount of uh, input lag and stuff like that. But we'll save that for the next video and we'll save the next video for OBS settings. And when I say OBS settings, that's for the people who are interested in streaming or recording. I must say that my setup is a dual PC and I really don't recommend streaming from an AMD graphics card because the results aren't good unless you have a dual PC into a NVIDIA card. But other than taking a fast gaming clip, the recording software is okay, but I really wouldn't recommend that either considering there are more powerful programs geared toward recording and streaming like OBS. Finally, one more advanced tip for the extremists, and that's overclocking this CPU. So let's hop on over to AMD Ryzen Master, a simple overclocking program for Ryzen CPUs. Please read their guide first to see if your CPU even qualifies for this. There are other programs like MSI, Afterburner, and many others. So let me show you my settings. Now, once you start to get into this program, it's going to give you this whole disclaimer, warning. And once again, I'm going to give you a warning. I don't recommend anybody to overclock their CPU or GPU. But if you're daring, like me, and want to push the limits, then go right ahead. I've used this program also since the beginning, and it's given me no problems. So we're going to click OK. Right now I had in gamer mode, I hit auto overclocking, I hit apply and test. So when you hit apply and test, it's going to restart your computer. And then after it restarts and gets into Windows, it's going to run a test, a stress test on your CPU. And it's going to let you know whether accepted it. Like, is your computer stable enough to maintain this? And another thing that I do a lot of the times is I'm always monitoring my temperatures, my CPU temperature, my GPU temperature. Sometimes I even keep, if I've been gaming for a while, I keep that overlay metrics, which is in the Ryzen software, right over my games in a corner and I make it super transparent so I can barely even see it. But I'm always keeping an eye on anything since I've been playing and I, and I got this computer. And I gotta say that it's been fine since I've gotten this computer. Now, my computer could be shipped with a different motherboard and different other components. I would just make sure that you have the same exact components as me and just do anything that you do with overclocking with severe caution. Okay. So how about we drop into a game and show you the FPS 
and the quality of this PC. So we're going to play a little Resurgence off Call of Duty Warzone. You can catch me on Twitch at Let's Game Talk or any of my social medias. Just look up Let's Game Talk. You'll find me there. When I'm in the airplane, you won't see the FPS at 143 because I have it capped off. So it only plays at my maximum monitor, which is 144. During gameplay, the rest of it I have capped off. But as you can see, my what you call is maintaining. Oh my god. Oh, you're in trouble. Uh-oh. Stuck him. He's gone. See ya. Goodbye, buddy. Still maintaining high frames. Gameplay is super smooth. It's like as soon as you touch, I touch my controller, it's there. When I shoot someone, it's there. It's, it's like it's not fair. As you can see, this graphics card is an FPS beast. And this whole computer is not bad considering the market on graphic cards right now. So when you got to get it pre-built, Cyber Power PC is definitely a good place to go. Especially in today's market. Now, when the market settles down, yes, you can always piece together your own or build your own computer for cheaper and better. But for now, overall, I highly recommend this Cyber Power PC. And it looks like I got some games to go play with my friends. Please subscribe to the channel and like the video. And please leave your comments down and I can do another tutorial on OBS. I can do a tutorial on the Radeon software. I have free no copyright music coming to up and coming streamers that want to have music whether they're doing their youtube content or whether they're streaming and they want to play music in the background instrumentals that won't get striked or won't have their page strike i highly recommend this pc or anything to do with amd radeon the 5700 xt or anything Ryzen 7 3700X, it's definitely excellent and gets two thumbs up from me. Remember, let's game talk and leave all the talking game somewhere else. You guys have a great day and see you soon.